Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to unfold a three-dimensional object into a two-dimensional shape. And this is called development. Example one, the figure below shows a square-based pyramid. Draw the following, the given view, complete plan, and the development of the pyramid. Well, before I continue, guys, can you please click on the subscribe button below, the red button below. Thank you. So the first thing to do, reproduce the given drawing. How do you reproduce the given drawing? You reproduce with the measurements. You have a height of 65 and a square base of 50. So this is 5, 5, 5 and 5 in centimeters. So this is 6.5 also in centimeters. So reproduce the drawing, draw whatever is given to you first. So now you can see from the 3D shape of um, a pyramid. When you view true ROK, you will see a triangle that gives the front view so this is the front view and when you look straight downward when you look at the plan which is also called the top view you will see a square at the base so that was how we have this square base as the plan of the pyramid so after you have reproduced the given drawing the next thing to do is to complete the plan to complete the plan, you need to view the object from the top. When you view it from the top, you will see a line O, B, O, A, O, C, and O, D. This is called the diagonal. So you need to bring your ruler and connect the diagonals together. Draw the diagonals with a straight line. Just draw the diagonals with a straight line. That gives you the complete plan of a square pyramid. The next thing to do is to draw the development of the pyramid. But before you do that, you need to obtain the true length. What is the true length? True length is any distance between points that is not foreshortened by view type. When you look at this drawing, the base edges, they have true length, but the remaining side does not have so we need to determine the true length. So for you to do that, bring out your ruler, place it at the center, which is O, and draw a line outward. When you are done with that, the next thing to do, using radius OA, draw an arc to the horizontal line. So just bring out your compass, bring out your compass, to draw an arc. So pick up the radius, which is radius OA, and draw an arc this way, down to the horizontal line. After which you bring out your set square to draw a vertical line to the base of the front elevation. Pick up your set square, which is used to draw vertical lines, place it at the horizontal line, the top of the arc, and project a vertical line down to the base of the front elevation. The next thing is to draw horizontal line from the edge of the front view outward. Place your ruler by the edge of the front elevation and pick up your pencil, draw horizontal line. Now we need to connect back to the apex. So from point B, draw a line to the apex to connect B to O. This line is called the true length, which is also known as TL. It's called the true length. Now, after you have gotten the true length, it is time to develop the pyramid. Just pick the radius of OB with your compass radius of OB and draw an arc. Draw an arc.
which is needed to get the development. After you have drawn the arc, center at B using radius CD, which is the radius of the square. So you strike an arc. Pick up the radius of CD. Radius of CD is the same thing as this side. It's also the same thing as this because it's a square base pyramid. Strike an arc. If you were given a rectangle, you would have picked the different sides, which are the, the you pick the length and you also pick the breadth at the same time. In my next video, I'm going to show how to draw the development of an hexagonal pyramid. So in this case, just pick up the radius of CD, which is the same thing as the other sides of the square and strike an arc this way. Okay, repeat the process four times because it's a square base pyramid. So you repeat it, you strike an arc here. This is one, this is two, three, and four. Then you label the point B, E, F, G, B. I started with B and I finished with B because they have the same edge. The point at which you start with is the point where you are going to end it. So if you're starting with, for example, if you're using numbers, if you have one, two, three, four, this last one will also be one. Now you need to connect all the points to O. Connect with thick lines because the edges of pyramids are thick. So we have thick lines, you join them together, join B to O, E to O, F to O, G to O, and B to O. The last step is to connect the base because when you check the base of a pyramid, it's also thick. So it has edges, that's four edges. So you have one, two, three, and four. Just connect B to E, connect point E to F, F to G, and G to B. So at the end of the day, you have a square base pyramid. You have the development of a square base pyramid, just like this. Thank you for watching.